All right, I'm slugging away at this uh, roll cage. I got my back wheel well and my front wheel well and my threshold piece on the bottom end. And same thing on this side. And it just so happens that when I measured from that point to that point on the back, it's 98 and a quarter inches. And from that point up there to back there is 98 and a quarter inches. How the hell that happened, I can't tell you. But I've been going off of some uh, photos that I took and I made some concept drawings of how I wanted the cage to look. And then um, I, um, I, f I finally came down to this one right here. And uh, with this new bender, I decided I'm, I come up with my angle, which that was 45 degrees there, 60 degrees here, all my lengths. This is, uh, of course, the back and the front. And I wanted to lay my windshield down more in the front this time because... I have a tendency to put my windshields up and down too much and that actually robs horsepower from me when you get these things up to about 45 50 60 miles an hour man it, it, there's a lot of air to push I can't even put a full windshield on them because of the it's so much push but you see those dimensions the angles the lengths I just got these out of the bender these are my two pieces uh, I'm waiting on my son to come out. We're going to notch both ends. Notch them with the notcher to fit over the tubes. And I'm going to try and get those tacked in place and uh, get them up. You know, I, I'm going to, those are going to tilt in a little bit. I like making my frame, my roll cages like this from front to back. Because when you're going through trees, limbs, bushes, and these things come in contact, they just slide right on off. And if you if you have a roll cage that where your head is is ducked in like on a razor, every time you go by a tree, guess what? You trap the tree in the roll cage. All right, I'm gonna try and get some work done.